I know our cameraman Kurt's in heaven tonight. He is. He is. See, he's got the hands up. He's got that big monitor tonight. He can see everything. He's in hog heaven tonight. And we welcome you here tonight, Mike Jameson, along with Garrison Deal. And Garrison, uh, so glad to have you back, buddy. And uh, CW 13.2, we're, we're proud to bring you this game tonight. Faustoria coming into Genoa. And I'll tell you what, Garrison, uh, we, could, we could see a lot of points tonight. Mike, it's, it's great to be back up here with you here at Genoa. As I said earlier, they always take such good care of us here. Sure. And, uh, I think we're in for a treat tonight. Genoa coming off a uh, just an amazing win down 20 to nothing at Huron last week, uh, com coming away with a 21-20 victory here at home tonight in front of the fans. Uh, they come in tonight 2-1 and one on the season, and they are hosting, of course, Faustoria, who's coming off a road win themselves at Van Buren 1914 last week. So they've got the momentum coming in. They've got some confidence. And, hey, we've got the sun peeking out, 65 degrees. You can't ask for anything better on a Friday night. Well, I'll tell you what. you got great food up here. They always take really good care of us. And uh, I, I think you're right there, buddy. It, 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 it's, it's all good tonight. The sun's. This is the perfect football night. Right on. Cameron Agler teeing up the football, getting set to kick it away. And one thing we're going to see, just how quick uh, Fostoria can be, because that's the one thing that's going to be able to help them as young as they are, is, is their quickness and uh, to be able to get, make things happen that way. And we are underway here from Genoa tonight. And we're going to have a return taken inside the 10. This is 21, Jordan Ferguson, who gets up across the 20 where he'll be taken down. And that is where Fostoria will start tonight. On offense. Fostoria's quarterback, Gavin Miller, coming off a nice game at Van Buren last week, looking to keep the momentum going. And this Genoa defense, Mike, last week, coming up big in the final minutes to seal the win at Huron. I think you're going to see early, you're going to, you're going to see Genoa being able to clog up the middle. And you, you see trips already. You're going to see some passing here tonight. Yeah, we got trips to the right. Uh -oh. Twins to the left, and this pass by Miller is going to be deflected. And that will bring up second down and ten. Early, early in the series. And, and they're going on the short side, too. He trips out on the, uh, on the uh, right side and uh, threw it to the left side here. And uh, once again, another big hand got in the way. Yeah, that was number 50, Caleb Giddis, who got a big paw on that one. Bringing up second down and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. Faustoria comes out. Trips to the right. One to the left. Lone setback. Miller's got a wide open receiver in the slot. Off the hands of Johnson. Incomplete. 21's a horse. He's a big boy. And uh, ball got behind him a little bit. And... Uh, if, if they could have gotten that ball a little bit out in front of him, he, he could have gotten something out of that. Yeah, Ferguson and Johnson there nearly collided, both in the vicinity of the football. So Genoa trying to get the defense off the field early, third down and 10. While Storia is still looking for their first yards from scrimmage tonight, they come out with trips to the right, twins to the left. Shotgun snap. Miller oh. looking over the right side. It's completed. Just shy of the 40. That's number two, Johnson. That's who he was looking for last time, and this time they convert first down and 10, Vostoria. Well, and you saw it right there. They're, they're able to use this uh, passing offense right now, and Genoa's kind of letting it happen right now. Yeah, and those are the kind of plays that really can get the momentum going early and sure, the confidence sure, definitely. that this road team needs. Gavin Miller there. Trying to continue it. This time he's got two backs to his left. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Miller takes a snap, Nothing. hands it off. Nothing doing there. Genoa defense was waiting for it. Lance Miller, the halfback, might have lost one on that play. It'll bring up second down and long. That was Rick House right there. I'd like to get some thanks out to Genoa Bank for helping us out each and every week. Of course, TAS Electronics. And uh, Mommy Bay Turf and Samson Furniture, who, Doug, I just got to tell you, I just bought my furniture from them. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, man, don't let my wife hear that. We're going to have to get some new couches and stuff coming up here. Never had <laughs> new furniture, and I, it's beautiful. I've had so many compliments. There, Miller's pass nearly picked off there by seven of Genoa. Aiden Brunkhorst, the reigning Toledo Blade Player of the Week, and we're going to be talking a lot about him tonight. Yeah, he's he's just got the ability to throw it, throw it, and he goes both ways, and he's a great, great defensive back, too. Well, Genoa had him backed up third and long earlier in the game. Let's see what happens now on this drive. It's third and ten. We'll see if Fostoria can convert again. They come out, trips to the left, twins to the right. Boy, Shotgun, Gavin Miller. Oh. Here comes the pressure. Football's uh, loose, uh, uh, and it's picked up by Genoa. Going that's the other way. It's going to be six. Touchdown, Genoa. What a play there on third down for Genoa to come away. Ethan Crawford, the senior, scoop and score. Pressure was put on by number 61, Carson Grauman. Carson Grauman's the one who knocked it loose. And it's 6 nothing early here. 10.30 to go in the first. What a play. Cameron Agler now in to attempt the extra point. Had that all-important extra point last week, which gave them the win at Huron. Good snap, good hold, kick is up, kick is good. And just like that, Mike, Genoa at home making a statement on defense. They're up 7-0. Fostoria going to get the football when we come back. We understand how important it is to make the right decisions when it comes to selecting furniture for your home. That's why we offer so many brands and hundreds of styles and fabrics that allow you to combine elements of color, style, comfort, and price to get the furniture that is perfect for you and your family. We welcome custom orders. While you rarely can't find what you are looking for in our store, our sales associates will gladly assist you to find the right item or a new perspective on your home interior. My absolute favorite song. Jump around? Jump around. I know they love it in Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. Always oh, wanted to yeah. go there <laughs> and see it. Well, you're pretty close now, huh? Yeah. You gotta go over to Lake Michigan there. You yeah. can go see it. Close enough. Genoa with the early 7 nothing lead off a scoop and score for the defense as Agler kicks it away to Fostoria. This is gonna be taken inside the 20 by Ferguson. Oh. Make that Harrison, he's gonna get up near the 30, so Fostoria Mike, who had something going there, converting a long third down, and then a, another third down and long. We'll see how the Genoa defense comes out after getting them on the board. Well, you know, and what you're seeing so far is they're spreading it all out, and quarterback is trying his best to uh, spread it out a little bit here, but I think that, uh, you know, Genoa is going to kind of tighten that up a little bit here. We shall see Miller with two receivers to the left, two halfbacks to the left. Going to do a handoff. Nothing doing there. Genoa defense was waiting. Same, same, same spot too. Dom Lindenberger with the stop. Gain of one. We'll bring up second down and Nine for Fostoria. And, you know, the thing about Fostoria, Mike, is, you know, they got the play action. They like to throw the football, but they're trying to keep the defense honest with the run. Here comes the blitz, Genoa. And this one sails over the hands of the intended receiver, Johnson, for Fostoria. And same story as last drive, Mike. Another third and long coming up for the Redmen. Third and nine for the Redmen. Well, and, and, and what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to figure out a way to split up the middle a little bit with some, you know, some just half half passes. And uh, what, what's going on? Oh, they, there we go. <laughs> Officials had a brief stoppage in play. Third down and nine, ball on the 28, 948 to play here early first quarter. Fostoria down early trying to respond here and convert the third down. 
Miller takes a snap, fakes the handoff. He's going to throw it over. Incomplete in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, Braden Harrison. And that's going to bring up fourth down and long. Fostoria is going to be forced to punt it away, Mike. Does that remind you of last night's uh, Kansas City game a little bit? Kadarius Tony last night <laughs> dropped a lot of footballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he had, what's the opposite of stick em? <laughs> I don't know, man. Because those were not bad passes. Probably slick them, right? Slick. slick. Em. Well, I know Braden Harrison wants that one back. Plenty of football left to play here tonight. I'm sure he'll get a couple catches. This uh, oh! punt is going to be blocked by Genoa. Inside the five. Luke Clement got his hands up and blocked the punt. And Genoa is in business again. This time we'll see their offense for the first time tonight, Mike, inside the five. Well, right there, I mean, the, overwhelming, overwhelming with the, with the rush. I mean, the guys just, <laughs> I, you don't even know what to say because you don't get to see that kind of stuff very often. But uh, they just, uh, the offense wasn't able to stop anything there. Brunkhorst comes out under center. He's got two behind him. He's going to hand it off left side, and that's going to be good for six. Alex Spencer on the carry. Touchdown, Genoa. Well, once again, you know, we we got to see what they're able to do, and they've, they've got an incredible blocking, a lot of blocking in there. Garrison, and, it, and that's just going to be what you're going to be seeing all night tonight. Just like that, 13 nothing, 9 27 to go in the first. The snap is bobbled. Agler kicks it just to the right of the upright, so the kick is no good, but early on, Genoa coming out strong at home. It's 13 nothing. Comets on top of Fostoria. Mommy Bay Turf Center, a leader in synthetic sports surfaces as well as natural field construction, maintenance, and renovation. Mommy Bay Turf is part of Turf Nation, the most trusted source in the synthetic turf industry, including creating the surface for the biggest game in pro football. From professional, college, and high school sports to recreation and commercial projects, check them out at mommybayturfcenter.com and see our large collection of finished projects and services. Mommy Bay Turf Center, we build better. Welcome back to Genoa, Toledo Sports Network's coverage of Ohio High School football. Garrison deal alongside Mike Jameson. Aiden Entry with the touchdown for Genoa. The extra point was no good. And Agler's kick is going to sail into the end zone. So Fostoria is going to have a touchback coming out here. Mike, you can't really ask for a better start for Genoa. They had a defensive touchdown, and then they blocked a punt and punched it in inside the five. Well, we looked early when we saw the teams out there working out and getting ready for the game and everything, and there was, there was quite a size difference, you know? And, uh, and then we, we start looking down at the, uh, at the roster, and like you were saying, there's a lot of nines on there. Yeah. Fostoria, a very young roster, lots of freshmen, lots of sophomores. Future is bright for them. They've come out here with trips to the left. Miller takes the snap, looking deep over the middle, just out of the reach of the intended receiver, seven. That's Trenton Smith. That would have been the kind of play that they need to get the momentum That's going in their exactly direction. That's exactly how you do it, too, right? And, and they're they're throwing everything. They're they're throwing everything. They're not sticking with one pattern. And uh, that that could get scary for the Comets if the Redmen are able to uh, lock in with a couple of these. Yeah, Gavin Miller, the quarterback for Fostoria, one of eight seniors on the team. You know, he's dangerous with his feet, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm sure we're going to well, see that tonight. Missing. They're, only, they're only, you know, uh, half a step off right now. Second down, 10 trips left. This one, a quick pass out to 21, Jordan Ferguson. And he's going to get swarmed by Comets. Nothing doing there. Brought down by number 53 for Genoa. Evan Milner. Yeah, everything that's happening, uh, you know, close up and in is just not happening right now. Genoa is just stopping it. You know, they're, they're, 
they just have a way of uh, making everything that's trying to go up the middle or it's just not happening yet. Yep, and officially uh, one yard loss on the play brings up third down 11. Fostorian now with five receivers, three to the left, two to the right. Here comes the blitz cub. by Genoa. Yeah. Oh, Miller, got to get out of the pocket. Going to get set. Going to go down. Mm. 45 for the comments. Jagger Magnum. Jagger Magnum in there. And Fostoria is going to be forced to punt again. You saw the blitz coming, Mike. Didn't stand much of a chance there. And that's something, and we've seen it, Garrison. We've seen it come from the left. We've seen it come from the right. <laughs> they're, they're, they've just got the ability to move that linebacker and make things happen. And, uh, well, we know what happened the last time we were here right now. And they, they're they set up to come and get him again. Yeah, why not? They got it the last time. Good snap this time. This time oh, yeah, the punt know. gets away. It's a line drive. Straight at the comments, taken at the 45 by Adam Knight. He's got a seam, and then he's going to go down just shy of the 30. Nice return for the Comets. And that is where Genoa will take over. Can't ask for better field position either for the, for the Comets tonight, Mike. Well, right now, you know, everything's going Comets' way. And this is, I think, where you, you know, you work on some, uh, you work on some plays. Uh, you work on making some things happen right now, and uh, let's see what Aiden can do right here. Brunkhorst with three yeah, behind him. Play action. Looking deep. Oh. Going to get sacked. Going to go down. Ooh. Wow. Fostoria brought the pressure. Braden Harrison for the big loss. And that's the kind of thing Fostoria needs, Mike. Yeah, yeah. If... I, d I think somebody missed somebody there. That's definitely somebody missed somebody there, and they won't let that happen again. Yeah, big loss there. Five brings up second down and 15. See, now they're going trips now. <laughs> and uh, Genoa ready to potentially look down the yeah. down the sideline there, right side. They <laughs> got trips to the right. Up in the air. Run course. Takes a snap. Pass complete there. Fostoria, though, ready for it, Mike. Pass completed there to 16. Jackson Magnon. That was, hey. their bread, that was their bread and butter last week in the second half was that little curl play. And, uh, and they were able to get a lot of yardage to uh, make things happen. And, uh, you know, third and 14 right now. Gain of one on the play. Brings up third down and 14 ball on the 35. Six and 38 to go in the first quarter. They come right back out with five. Two to the left, three to the right. Front course takes the snap. Drops back. Looking deep. There it is. Got a man. Wide open. Boom. Touchdown. Touchdown. Wow. Genoa. He pulled it in. And that's exactly what Genoa needed. Aiden Entry with his second touchdown of the night. Entry had one on the ground, now one through the air. And just when you thought Fostoria was starting to shift the momentum a little bit, Mike. Right, right, right. The big strike. Well, and, and that was a perfectly timed play. And uh, Brunkhorst took a little bit off of it and aired it out a little bit. Let him get in under it and uh, wound up being a great, great, great touchdown for the Comets. Hagler now in for the extra point. Good snap. Good hold kick is up. Kick is good. And just like that, 6.24 to go in the first. The Comets all over Fastoria, 20 nothing here on the Toledo Sports Network's coverage of Ohio high school football. Back here at Genoa, 20 nothing. Comets early, 624 to go here in the first quarter. Garrison Deal alongside Mike Jamison. Kurt Tallman on the camera tonight for us, doing a phenomenal job. He's my neighbor. He's a great, the best neighbor in the whole wide world. He is. He's a cool dude. And then I got him to run camera too, you know. It's He's crushing it, man. As this kick sails into the end zone, 
Agler with a boot on him. And Fostoria. Now, you know, Mike, early on here, Fostoria has shown some signs. They did convert that long third down. Yeah. They were bringing the pressure there in the last possession for Genoa on defense. Uh, you know, it's just it's like they're a couple steps away uh, from really putting something together here. they got to figure out a way they can run the ball, even if it's a misdirection. they got to be able to make that happen because Genoa's just locking everything up for them to do anything on the ground. Miller with three receivers to the left. Here comes the blitz again. This time he's going to have to use his feet, and he does. He takes it off. Comets swarm him, though. Going to be a loss on the play. Didn't stand a chance there, Mike. No, no. The, things are just happening a little bit too quick right now where Gino is able to get in. If I'm the quarterback, if I'm Miller right now, I'm yelling at my I'm yelling at my, at my offense. I'm screaming at him. I'm screaming at him. I need one more second. I need one more second, you know, and the, he's just not getting it. Yep, we'll see what they can come up with here. Second down and 12, ball on the 18. Twins to the right, twins to the left. Miller takes a snap. Yeah. He's looking left side. Got a man, but overthrows him. Jordan Ferguson, the intended receiver. And you know, Mike, a lot of these receivers, they're, they're getting open. It's yeah. just the pressure's coming on so hard. But, you right. know, he's not having enough time to set his feet and get rid of the football. Well, I think what Miller's trying to do is when he's making these passes, he's trying to throw the ball behind him to make the guys come back for the ball because Genoa's got such good coverage on, on each of the receivers that are coming out. But he's throwing it. A little bit too much behind him. So you know, if he if he, he threw it maybe another half step or more toward the toward him, they might be able to catch it. Well, here comes Genoa again with the blitz. Miller over the middle, pass complete, and they do convert again for the second time tonight. A long third down pass caught over the middle, middle by Braden Harrison. That's going to be a first down. And we talked about Braden Harrison earlier. He had sure. the drop, and he makes up for it right there with the catch. Yep. And that and that's something they've been running everything on this side of the field, and they were able to get that on the on the, on the other side. Yeah, great job there by Miller. So Fostoria now trying to cook something, just shy of the forty. Miller takes the snap. He's going to hand it off Gosh. up the middle. Lance Miller on the carry. Lance Miller, the ball carrier, stop me. Going to gain about a yard. But this is the thing that they're doing early, Mike. They're keeping. They're trying to keep the Genoa defense. Honest by running the ball and switching yep. it up. You know, they're they're not one dimensional by any means. They're just not they're everything that I've seen so far running wise is trying to run off that left side or off the left left guard and it's just they're just not getting anything there yet. Well now they've got one receiver to the left, three to the right, and a lone setback. Here comes Genoa with the pressure again. Oh. Miller gets it away, he's got a man wide open seven, Trenton Smith. He catches it, and he's going to go down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of two. Going to bring up another third and long for Fostoria. Well, it's great to have that relief valve out there, but, you know, <laughs> you lost another yard on that, too. So that makes it kind of tough. Yeah, the tough thing is he had a couple guys open over the middle, but he just didn't have the time. Had to dump it off. Yep. Genoa bringing the pressure a lot early on. Third down and long. Four and nine to go in the first. It's 20 nothing Genoa. Fostoria looking to get themselves on the board. They got trips to the left, twins to the right. Miller's got time. Throws it deep over the middle, oh, just out nice of the job. hands, right through the hands of nine. Dakota Smith, but the coverage was out there. Brunkhorst got it. I think he got a hand on it. Yeah. But just a little bit, just to touch it enough to make things, you know, a little messed up there. So this is going to bring up. Fourth and long. Fostoria going to be forced to have to punt for the fourth time tonight. Matthew Balarama Jr. Back to punt. Adam Knight standing at the 35 to return. Good snap. Good punt. And they're going to make the poison call. And we're going to have a penalty here as the fair catch was called. And Fostoria knocked down Knight. So that's going to be a big penalty, Mike, as you get them back in the, their territory. And now the 15 yards is going to put them up near midfield. Hmm. Those are the kind of you things don't like you can't. That play, yeah. You can't have those type of plays happen when you're down early. You get a little momentum going. 
We'll see what the officials are talking about here. Potentially a targeting, I would assume. But did he get pushed into him? That's the question. Because there was a clump right there. Yeah. That's, every, everybody was there. Didn't seem malicious by any means, but that's oftentimes what happens on those punts. Is I don't know, Garrison. Shot behind. You're, you're pretty nice. You, you know how it is, man. I see ciders, man. We, we let them have it, but you get in trouble <laughs> when you do that. Thank you to Amplex Internet for providing broadband access. The Janelle Press Box, Amplex is North. Officials talking East. down there with the coaching staff of Genoa, Bill Fisher, the head coach of the Comets. Boy, you couldn't ask for a better bunch of guys. I'll tell you what, great guys. Whoa, that was a big penalty. Wow. So we had two penalties, one on Genoa, one on Fostoria. They're going to offset, so they're going to punt it again. Gotcha. Didn't get the indication of what the call was on Genoa. Fair catch interference and then a late fair catch call, Genoa. So we're going to do it again. Astoria, they oh! fake it. And they're going to throw a left side. They got a man wide open and they convert it. What wow. a play call by Johnson to, <laughs> to make the grab there on the left side. Heck hey. of a throw, too. Hey. Trenton Smith. Nobody out there either. To Johnson and Fostoria with a little bit of Detroit Lions magic there. Going for it on the, on the punt attempt. And that's the kind of thing you need, Mike. You need to shift the momentum if you're Fostoria. And that's exactly. the exact kind of play to do it. And now they're down inside the 30 in Genoa territory. Look at this now they got. Four receivers to the right, one to the left. Genoa, not bringing any pressure this time. Miller takes the snap. He's got a man over the middle, oh, caught down nice near job. the 10. Dakota Smith, and just like that, the Redmen marching right down the field. As we wind down here, late in the first, 3.33 to go, 20 nothing Comets, but Fostoria knocking on the door, Mike. Just what you were talking about early, though. You know, the kids are playing hard right now, and uh, they want to score. Miller trips to the left, wins to the right. Here comes the oh. pressure. Gets rid of it fast, complete, and we've got a score for Fostoria. Number 23 on the reception, Braden Harrison. And the Redmen are on the board with 3.17 to go here in the first. That was a very quick release, and that play worked out perfect. That worked out perfect for them. And that's what makes this Fostoria team dangerous, Mike. When you do give him time to get rid of that football, he's got some speedy receivers. So they're going to go for two. Trips to the right, twins to the left. I wouldn't be surprised if they run the exact same play. Motion, Miller gets it over, and they are going to convert the two-point conversion Jordan Ferguson from Miller, and it's 20-8. to eight. We got a ball game, Mike. Yep. We'll be right back with more right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Different problems require different solutions. Seagate Roofing and Foundation Services has been solving water problems for over 30 years. We have the expertise to provide you with the best solution. Seagate replaces foundations, straightens walls, lifts sinking foundations, and waterproofs basements. Get your free estimate before you make a decision because you deserve to have all the facts. We are the local experts. 244 LEAK Seagate. Back at Genoa, 20 to 8, first quarter. We've had a lot of fireworks going on. Garrison Deal alongside Mike Jamison. Fostoria converting on a fake punt and then marching down the field, going for two and getting themselves on the board as they get set to kick it away to Genoa. Mike, if you're the Comets here, keep a heads up. They might be looking to fake this. A little well, onside that's what, action. That's what we're talking about right here. And they do squib it. And it's going to be dropped at the 30. And down is where Genoa will start there at the 30. They'll begin their drive. Fostoria 
was down 20 nothing, and they've got a little momentum going, and they're showing life. Well, if you're if you're in Genoa right now, you've got 314, and you know what you want to do with it. You want to take the ball and run it right up, just run it right down their throats right now, and uh, establish that. And because you know you've got the passing attack. Aiden Brunkhorst with the T formation behind him takes the snap, there hands it, it up off the middle, and a tackle is going to be broken. And another one, and we're going to get a first down. Aiden Antry, he's already got two touchdowns tonight. Gets it out to the 45, first and 10, Genoa. And they're looking to do a hurry up here, too. Mike, they didn't even need the huddle. They're going to come out trips to the right, twins to the left. Don't be surprised if they go deep here like they did last time on the last drive when they scored six. Oh. Bronkhorst, quick pass this time towards the Genoa sideline, intended for Jackson Magnum. And incomplete. That'll stop the clock. Second down and 10, 2.48 to play in the first. Ball on the 45. Genoa going to come back out with trips to the right, twins to the left. We'll see if Fostoria brings any pressure. They don't. They're Scott grubbing up there at the line. The There's foul. a flag, yeah. and we're going to have the pass incomplete. Run course looking for Alex Spencer. We'll see what the play is or what the flag is here. Uh, there was a lot of grubbing down there by the guards and the nose tackle. We'll see what the call is. You're not seeing any blitzing or anything by Fostoria yet, though. They can take it or not. And this is going to be on Genoa. <laughs> but you get second down back. Oh. It's a begging. Backed him up 15 yards. Waiting for the call. Chop block, Chop block was the penalty. And that's why we saw the the grubbing down there. So Genoa now second down and 25 ball back on their own 30-yard line. Broncourse twins to the right, trips to the left. Fostoria not showing any pressure. They got four down in front. This pass is going to be complete. Left side by Alex Spencer, who's going to get up and regain a little bit of the yardage back, but still going to be third down and long for Genoa as he gets up near the 42. They need to get to the Fostoria 45 for a first down. Third and 14, 220 to go. Exciting first quarter here at Genoa. Oh, my goodness gracious, yeah. Brunkhorst takes a snap. Looking left, got time, finds a man over the middle. It's Spencer again, and this is going to be a conversion for the first down as he gets across the 45 into Fostoria territory. That's exactly what the Comets needed there, Mike. Well, and it was just that, that little cross pattern, and that's, you know, both teams, if you, if you run those cross patterns real well, <laughs> I hate bringing up that game again last night, but. <laughs> the Lions seem to do those cross patterns pretty well last night. We'll see what Genoa cooks up here. They got trips to the right. Twins to the left. They're looking towards their sideline. Nearly picked off by Fostoria. Oh. That was a 50-50 ball. Jackson Magnum out there was the intended receiver. Lance Miller went up. And that's what you love to see out of your defensive backs too, Mike, is when that football is in the air, hey, it's just as much theirs as it is oh, the yeah. offense's. Oh, definitely. Well, that's one of those positions where you've got so much time as a quarterback right there. Aiden had so much time, and he didn't he didn't get to he, he set too much actually. Broncos this oh. time hands it up off the middle. Entry again. Going to get down inside the 30. First down, Genoa. And that seems to have been there all night for him, Mike, early on, whenever they need a big conversion or chunk yardage, yeah, exactly. handing it off to Entry. Totally. 130 to play, first quarter, 20 to 8. Trips left, twins right. Fostoria not showing any pressure. Brunkhorst takes the snap, throws it out, left side. It's complete to Magnum. 
and he's going to get down inside the 20. And Genoa in business, Mike. First down and 10 at the 15. They're going to go right to the line. Same formation, opposite right side. Trips, twins to the left. Fostoria not ready. Pass over to the middle. Antry's got it. He gets away, and he's going to get into the end zone as he dives for the pylon. Number three on the night already. Aiden Antry, touchdown Genoa, 26-8, as we're under a minute to go here in the first. Well, uh, Antry, has, they, they just haven't found an answer for him yet. And he, he's got such a good low center of gravity. And, man, when he goes, he goes. And they just can't seem to be able to pull him down. Hurting him on the ground, hurting him through the air. Can Agler into attempt the PAT? Agler into attempt the extra point. Snap is good. Hold is good. Kick is good. Brock Matthews with the long snap. Alex Spencer with the hold. Cameron Agler with the extra point. And just like that, 27 to 8. Genoa putting up the points here in the first. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genoa Bank, a locally owned community bank providing a full range of banking services. At Genoa Bank, we believe a bank should do more than just conduct business. We generally care about the communities we serve and we take our hometown commitment to heart. Our biggest investment will always be in you, whether it's a personal account or business. Genoa Bank is committed to outstanding service. We want to know you by name and help you with all your banking needs. Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. And Jason Magnum, Jeff Cooper, Tommy George, and Ron Cottridge. Back here at Genoa, the Comets up 27 to 8 as we have 59 seconds to play here in the first. Garrison deal alongside Mike Jameson. Yeah, you want to make sure everybody knows we're still in the first quarter. <laughs> we're still in the first. A lot of fireworks here early on. Five scores. Agler's kick goes down into the end zone for another touchback. And Fostoria going to need to respond here, Mike, because they haven't been able to stop Genoa's offense all quarter, and it doesn't seem like they're going to anytime soon if they keep this up. Well, you know, that that little passing attack that they have, Miller's done a nice job on three or four, like you said, you know, they, they just long pass plays that they've been able to make some things happen, but they're few and far between. And we'll see what the Redmen do here. They come out with twins to the left, trips to the right. Here comes Genoa with the blitz on the left oh. side. This ball gets away from Miller a little bit. Looked like it slipped out of his hands. He had a guy wide open there, yeah, Jordan that's Ferguson. That's he's been doing all night. He's, he, you know, he's, making the, he's making the receivers come back to the ball, but it's too much. Yeah, he, it, he's just not throwing it right. Yeah, it appeared on that one. Looked like he was on his back foot trying to get rid of it because of the pressure coming on the left yep. side. Genoa, Luke Clement was coming off the right side, and that's the, that's the thing. You got to have the protection, got to have the time to set sure. the feet, or else that's going to happen all night. Four receivers out there for Fostoria, one back to the left, three on the line for the Comets. Miller takes a snap. He's going to roll left, looking to run. Instead, he'll throw it, wow, and he's going to complete go. it out across the thirty for the first down. Seven, Trenton Smith, Trenton Smith. and they convert another third down. That's one thing that Fostoria has been doing consistently here tonight, Mike, for the most part. When you think that they're down and out of it here right. and they're backed up, they find a way. Well, they're going to have to find a way a little bit more because they're running – right now their running attack just isn't happening at all. So the, these, these pass plays have worked out very well for them, but uh, – they got to figure out a way that they can uh, move the ball on the ground a little bit, too. And we'll see what Miller does here. This time he gets rid of it fast, and oh, it's complete nice across catch. the 50. One-handed grab, hauled it in. Wow. Dakota Smith with the reception. Incredible, incredible catch. Are they going to say he dropped it? Oh. bring up second, They are. I thought he hauled it in. So that's going to bring up second down and 10. It was nearly a spectacular catch, though, Bruce Smith. He was bobbling it, I guess, when he hit the ground. They don't have instant replay down here in 
Ohio yet? <laughs> they, they do, but we need a few more sponsors to make that work. Right on. Just kidding. Genoa bringing the heat. This one nearly picked off. And there we talk about it again. The pressure coming from Genoa, not giving Miller enough time, forced to make a bad throw. And and Miller, his guy took off, and he had a step. He had a step on Aiden there, and if he'd have thrown that ball long, that, that might have been a touchdown. 20 seconds to go here in the first, third and 10. A lot of offense here, a lot of scoring. 35 points on the board here in the first, 27 to 8, Genoa. As for Astoria looking at a long third and 10, backed up in their own territory. Probably one of the longest first quarters we've had in a long time. 40 minutes. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. We'll see what they got here. Fostoria trips to the right, twins to the left. Miller got a man over the oh. middle. It's complete, and then he dropped it. Did he have possession before it popped out? He Looks sure like did. he did. Genoa forces the fumble and recovers. Disaster for Fostoria. Yeah, he took two, three steps there, and uh, that is definitely a fumble. First and ten, Comets. Just when you thought Fostoria starting to shift the momentum a little bit, Comets defense comes up big. Who got, who got that one? Who got the fumble? Logan Rauchin. Who? Logan Rauchin. Oh. Rauchin with the recovery. Here comes the Comets on offense. Front course. Oh, Fakes it left. Now he's looking deep. Wide open. And it's oh. nearly hauled in along the Genoa sideline. Jackson Magnum. And that's going to bring up second down and 10. Eight seconds to play here in the first. You might as well, right? Yeah, you might as well do it again. He had him, he had him down the sideline. We'll see what they do here. Up 19 at home, 27-8. Trips to the left, twins to the right. Fostoria not showing any pressure. This time they do bring a backer. Oh. Runcourse gets rid of it quickly, and it's going to be complete to Magnum again. No gain on the play here as we come to the conclusion of the first quarter here at Genoa Bank Stadium. At the end of one, it's the Comets 27 and the Redmen 8. Back with more coverage here of Ohio High School football on the Toledo Sports Network. We'd like to recognize our military and first responders this evening. The unwavering commitments of those who serve our country to keep us both safe and free as Americans is truly amazing and something that... Greymont in Genoa, producers of doclamide lime and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont. For more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. Thank you for your service. Back here at Genoa Bank Stadium. Beautiful night for football, and the Comets are up 27-8 here against Fostoria. Garrison Deal alongside Mike Jamison. Kurt Tallman on the camera. And Genoa right now faced with a long third down. Back in their territory, trips to the right, twins to the left. Brunkhorst takes a snap. He's got time. Here comes the pressure. He's got to get out. Rolls right side, thinking about running, and he's not going to. Instead, oh, he's nice. going to find a receiver got the first. and complete. Alex Spencer going to haul it in for the first down. Looked like Brunkhorst was going to take off, Mike, Yep. but had enough discipline to not cross the line of scrimmage and get that football into the hands of Spencer for the first down. And that's what makes this Genoa offense so dangerous. Exactly. 
Here comes Brunkhorst under center. T formation behind him. Fostoria in tight there, stacking the box. Oh. And we're going to have a He's handoff gone. left side entry. Is he going to score his fourth of the night? He's on his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Genoa. My goodness, they just don't have an answer for him tonight. Aiden Antry, his second on the ground. He's got two through the air, two on the ground. And Genoa now opening it up 33 to 8. 29 seconds into the second quarter. And after a 43-minute first quarter, <laughs> Genoa strikes 29 seconds into the second. Good snap, good hold, kick is up. Kick is good. Cameron Agler with another extra point makes it 34 to eight. Genoa all over Fostoria early on here on the Toledo Sports Network. If you're looking for fantastic Italian food along with old world hospitality and family traditions, D'Astasio's is your place. Located in Elmore, Ohio, Coach Mike D'Astasio and his family have become a fast favorite with pizza, lasagna, and other great old world Italian dishes. Stop out today or call them at 419-862-0404. D'Astasio's, 351 Rice Street in Elmore, Ohio. <laughs> Great, now I want a Distazio pizza. Oh, don't talk about pizza, Mike. You're going to get me have hungry you, oh, now. Yeah. Have you ever had a Distazio pizza yet? I have never had a Distazio oh, pizza. Well, Mike, we'll have to make that happen. That sounds phenomenal, yeah, though. Yeah. I love their pickle pizza, man. Ooh, pickle pizza. Now, I love pickles, so that's got to be good. Incredible. It's incredible. Back here at Genoa Bank Stadium, Comets up 34-8. Fostoria going to need to get something going here quickly or this one's going to get completely out of hand as the ball is taken at the 15 for the Redmen and they are going to begin just outside the 20 this drive. And Mike, we've seen it from Fostoria a lot tonight. They get backed up third and long and they find a way to convert. Right. But they've got their work cut out for them down 34 to 8. Uh, and, and, you know, the score kind of doesn't really tell the whole story, though, because they've had a lot of good plays over there. It's just the block punt, the scoop and the score, the, the drops. They've had their opportunities like tonight. four mistakes, you know. Yeah, and they really compound quickly. We'll see what they do here. they got trips to the left, one to the right. Miller got a man wide open over the middle, complete at the 40, and the ball comes out. Oh, but they're going to say he was down. Nearly another disaster for Fostoria. Oh. Was that the same? Braden Harrison on the reception. That was close. Mm. That wasn't the same one who had the had it just happen here, was it? It wasn't Braden? No, Ferguson. Ferguson, gotcha. So we'll see how the Redmen respond now. First down and 10 as they're approaching midfield. Twins to the left. Twins to the right. Lone setback. Miller takes a snap. Got a pass complete. Goes right back to his receiver, Harrison, who's going to get out across midfield into Genoa territory. As he goes out of bounds in the Genoa sideline. It's going to bring up second down and three. They're going to put the ball just at midfield. And Fostoria cooking a little something here on offense. Plenty of time to go in this game. We mentioned the 42-minute first quarter. <laughs> Trips to the right. Receiver to the left. Left early. I don't know if they're going to call it. They're not. Miller, pump fake, got a man. And he just overthrows him down the left sideline. Braden Harrison had a man beat. And he knows it. That's going to bring up third down and three. And you know what, Mike? This is kind of a tough situation for Fastori because they haven't had their run game going they at all no tonight. Running, none. Absolutely none. Every single time they've ran it, the Genoa defense has been ready. So, you know, essentially here you got two pass plays to convert this third down in my mind. Right. Because with the score, you what know, it is, what, what it is. with putting, or when they punted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Twice. 
So trips to the right. Here comes yeah, the pressure, come. Genoa. And this one's going to be complete out to Ferguson right side. He's got the reception. Is he going to get the first down? Going to be close. We'll see where they mark him. Looks like he's going to be just shy. Hey, this is going to bring up fourth down in about two. Yeah. One, two. Yeah. So now this is when. You got to go. Oh, no doubt about it. 34 to 8, 1044 to go in the second quarter. And it. You know, it looks like about a yard and a half. This is when you wish you could you could do the quarterback sneak, but you know it's just so yeah, big up front. Can't do that. It doesn't really seem like an option here, and they're going to come out on the shotgun, so expect a quick pass here. you got twins to the right, trips to the left. Here comes the pressure. He's going to have to get rid of it fast. Miller does. Over the oh, middle. Nice Triple job. coverage complete. What a throw. Hey, that's what they're that they got a gun. Lance Miller's Miller got a gun. On the reception. Miller's got a gun. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See, I knew you were a good singer. I got it. <laughs> Gavin Miller to Lance Miller. And Fostoria now first down and ten. You say he's a, he's a senior too, right? Lance Miller is a sophomore. Gavin, the quarterback, is the senior. As Gavin gets this one into the hands of Ferguson, and it's going to be dropped. Luckily, it wasn't picked off there. Tip drill. Going to bring up second down He's and ten. He's been behind a lot on his all of his receivers so far tonight. But they're moving the ball. Yeah, you know what's so crazy about this, Mike, is you look at the scoreboard and you think, oh, this one's completely out of hand. But then you remember you got a full second quarter to play, <laughs> and Fostoria knows how to get the ball down the field. Right. It's just a matter of... Can they put the drive together here to get it back into the end zone? Down 30-48. Second down and 10. Trips left. Single receiver to the right. Lone setback. Miller takes it. Here comes the pressure. He's got to roll right. Gets rid of it and throws it over the hands of Ferguson. Genoa bringing the pressure. So going to be third down and long. We'll see what they dial up here. They got the strong side of the field, left side. Wouldn't be surprised if they try to go that way, Mike. I'll tell you what, we've seen the whole the whole playbook's been open here. <laughs> yeah, I but can't wait to see the stat line seeing, tonight. Miller's got to get rid of it quick, though. That's the thing. Well, here comes the pressure. Two linebackers oh, blitzing. Miller going to get time. sacked. At the 41, he didn't have a chance there. Genoa dialed up the pressure and took him down. They came from both sides. I mean, they just, he didn't even get to look downfield. Nothing you can do there if you're Gavin Miller, except hold on to the football. Clock running. Nine and 46 to go, 34-8. That's probably the first time you've been able to say that all night. The clock is running. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> now he's going to go for it. Well, that's what I was saying. I can't wait to see the stat line combined yeah. for both teams tonight at the end at well, this rate. Well, I think Genoa's only had the ball on offense maybe two and a half minutes. Fostoria now, fourth and long. And there it is. Picked there. off over the middle. Going back the other way, Genoa. Logan Robson shuts one, down the red we got the, He got the fumble, and now we got the, uh, the uh, interception. Heck of a play defensively. And any momentum the Redmen had going now, shut down by Genoa. As the comments are going to go the other way. Tough break there for Fostoria, Mike. They appear they may have had something well, cooked up there. That was just a punt. It Essentially, was a it was, it exactly. Was a point. Yeah. We'll see what Genoa does now. Five receivers, three to the left, two to the right. Broncos' pass is complete. Left side up near the 40. Guess who? Aiden Antry again. Career night. Those stats are going to be outstanding at halftime to take a look at. Already got four touchdowns on the night, as I mentioned earlier. Two on the ground, two through the air. Second down and three. Three receivers to the right, two to the left. Nine. This pass complete. Denver Stewart on the reception into Fostoria territory. Gonna be another, another name you're going to be hearing a lot more tonight is Denver Stewart. Denver Stewart, the six foot two senior. He's just got such a great arsenal. 
Wojo's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Quality comfort you can count on since 1967. They're a proud sponsor of Genoa High School Sports and can help you with all your heating, air conditioning, and plumbing needs. Give them a call today at 419-693-3220. The Comets in Redmond Territory. 8.51 to play till halftime. Two backs behind Brunkhorst. He's going to take it, and it's going to be a little sweet play right side. Alex Spencer, the ball carrier. Alex Spencer took the sweep for a few. That's going to bring up second down and six, make it four on the carry. When it comes to, like, the running game, though, it's like David and Goliath. <laughs> well, you know saying that, but it's just. Genoa's so big up front. Look at this. As we have Spencer oh. right side. On the carry, going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Comets. They're doing it through the air and on the ground tonight in front of a big home crowd. Spencer takes it the distance. 48 yards for the score. It's 40 to 8. And we do have a marker down. All indications is it is coming back. We'll see what the officials have to say. Maybe a potential hold or clip. Yep. And it is going to be a hold on Genoa. So take that one off the board. Alex Spencer, great run, 48 yards. Going to come back. And you know what, Mike? If I'm Genoa, though, I do the exact same play. <laughs> And anything, anything that involves running on the on either side, it's just uh, it's just not able to stop them. So this is going to put the football at the 25. Take the points off the board. Trips to the right, twins to the left. Brunkhorst takes a snap, looks left. Now he turns right, Same gets point. a pass complete over the middle. Complete to number nine. Denver Stewart, Denver Stewart 21, he was looking over the middle, and they threw it to the right. That's the thing that he is so elusive out there, Aiden Brunkhorst. He he looks one way, and that's the biggest thing, Mike, is not letting the defense read your eyes. That's what makes him so dangerous. Well, let's see what happens here. I uh, They're tied up on this side. Well, he's got T formation behind him. Wouldn't be surprised to hand it off up the middle to Agler, and that's exactly what they do, and guess what? He's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Aiden Comets. Antry Aiden Antry. Touchdown, run. Antry up the middle. Agler with a heck of a block to open up the hole. My goodness, and just like that, 40-8. to eight. Wow. Aiden Antry on the board again. He's got to share a little bit tonight, don't you think? Give someone else a couple touchdowns, Mike? <laughs> well, he's got this many touchdowns already. <laughs> <laughs> the stat line is going to be insane tonight. Good snap, good hold, kick is up, kick is good again. Cameron Agler, he had the big block, and then he puts the extra point in. Aiden Antry on the ground again. It's... 41-8, 8.08 to play. We'll be back here with more coverage of the Toledo Sports Network. Blackberry Corner on the corner of 579 and Elliston Road is a proud sponsor of Genoa Football and has the best burgers, chicken, and pizza. Well, you know the pizza. Everyone knows the pizza. Blackberry Corner also has charbroiled pork ribs and Jim's famous chicken dinners. Whether it's appetizers, pizza, or a full dinner, the great folks at Blackberry Corner can help fill you up save you money. Stop out to Blackberry Corners on the corner of State Route 579 and Elliston Road for a meal or just a snack. 21, Back here at Genoa Bank Stadium. Wow. Genoa. All over Fostoria. I gotta say hi to my friend Miss Pam. Pam Heckler from uh, Perrysburg Dance they're, her and her friend are sitting watching the game at home, and they just text us to say uh, her great-grandson is playing. I don't know. I'm sure we're going to find out here real soon, though. Oh, hi, Pam. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Wow. 
Pam definitely. See, they got- wouldn't do it if it was just me here. So you bring Garrison in, you bring the yeah. professionals in, boom, we get them. <laughs> <laughs> Pam, you got to let us know who your grandson is. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. You know, and, and Mike, I've said it before. I'll say it again. This is what makes it so uh, so cool what you do for the community. You give people the opportunity to watch these games at home. Amen. And, and think about everything that happened during COVID. I mean, oh. you know, the whole broadcasting realm has changed, and you give people an opportunity to watch p- their grandchildren at home. So exactly. rock on, man. Exactly. As for Astoria, has a pass complete, right side, Miller gets it out, and we're going to have a flag out of bounds. Looks like maybe a late hit. I would have to say that was probably a little bit on the late side. No, but it's just amazing. You know, 40 years ago I was driving a UPS truck, and now it's I'm sitting in Genoa's uh, press box here. I do it all every year. I'm glad you're here with me. and uh, It's an honor to be here with you. 40 years, man. You're only 40 years old. Sure, sure. Sure. Yeah, well, 39, right? No, 40 times. <laughs> Age is just a number, my you friend. You know what? I love what I do. I love what I do, and i got a lot of good friends. They give me crap all the time, but I guess that's endearing, you know, because I give it right back. So That's true love there, friends that give you a hard time. So, Fostoria, now after the penalty, first and 10, they got twins to the right, a single receiver to the Left and it's going to be ran up the middle. And for the first time tonight, first Mike, one. I'm waiting for you to say it. First one tonight. They nearly get a first down on the ground. Uh, Fostoria showing a little bit of uh, uh, strength there on the ground. Rainy on the carry there. Brings up second down in a long one. Ball is at midfield, 7 and 30 to play till halftime. It's 41 8. Here comes the blitz. Genoa. Miller's going to have to scramble right. He's going to run towards the sideline. Stretches for the first down. Put the arm out, but I don't think he got it. Great effort there, though. And that's what you love to see on your team, Mike. I mean, you're down 41 to 8, and you're still. Giving it your all out there, and that's what high school football is all about, exactly. in my opinion. Senior leadership right there. Exactly, and that's what's great for those young freshmen and sophomores on the team. We mentioned how young Fastoria is. That's the kind of effort that you want to see out of your leaders. Here we go, third down and one. Miller takes it, and Genoa stuffs him. Yep. It looked like he might have seen a little bit of daylight, and it's going to be fourth and one, no gain. And just when you thought story was showing a little bit of life on the ground, the Comets shut it down. Well, well, hold on. They're going to give him the forward progress. So first down, he did get the football just across. Oh, wow. Didn't appear to get it, but, you know, with these Toledo Sports Network cameras up here, we're able to see this stuff, man. That's what's pretty cool. I do love the cameras you got going, Mike. Yeah. That was a crappy spot, boys. So, <laughs> so we're going to get uh, first and 10 just inside Genoa territory. Miller oh, pump oh, fake. Oh. Nearly loses the football. Going to get hit. Going to go down. And he is he taking good it down. the pump fake. The pump fake wasn't pretty. Jagger Magnum. Jagger Magnum with the sack. Backing up Fostoria. 6.45 to play till halftime. It's 41-8. As the Redmen taking their time here, getting the play in. Ball on the 45. Trips to the left, wins to the right. Genoa not bringing any pressure. Miller gets the pass out, complete to Ferguson. He's going to get hit right away, though, and go out of bounds. They'll get a few back. But it's going to be a long third down coming up. It's just nice to see the clock moving a little bit too. You know, it's uh, this 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 one's going a lot quicker. Forty-three minute first quarter, <laughs> second quarter going a little bit faster. Um, we'll see how the Redmen come out here. Third and long, they've converted three third and longs tonight already. <laughs> Trips to the left. Lone receiver to the right. Here comes the blitz. Genoa not going to get Miller any time. Going to get hit. Going to go down. 
the Comet swarming Fostoria. And the defense is having a party. He doesn't even get a chance to look downfield. He's not even getting a chance to look downfield. So there, there are openings there, but he, he just doesn't have enough time to set up. And as the night progresses here and the guys are getting tired, you know, Genoa is just showing they're a little bit, you know. Oof. Well, Astoria going to have to punt it away too deep in their territory. You want to bet they're coming for this one? I don't know, man. Adam Knight's back deep to return. And we're going to get a timeout. Adam Knight back deep to return. <laughs> I think the whole, the whole team is coming. The, the bus driver's coming, too. Comets bring a little pressure. Oh, High snap, but they get it away. Oh, and he bounced off the him. punt. Wow. We'll see where it gets recovered, and luckily for the Comets, they do hop back on it. Derek Marcy hopped on it quickly for Genoa. Yeah, bounced right off of his uh, helmet. And that's the thing. Every bounce has seemed to go Genoa's way tonight, but you know what? You create a lot of your own bounces, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> i got to remember that. You create a lot of your own bounces. Yeah. Thanks. That's a good one, Garrison. Well, I always tell people you create your own luck. There you, you know, go. A lot of people say, hey, you know. That team was lucky, or that play was lucky. Well, you create your own luck. Well, I tell you, congratulations going out to you with your insurance firm. And uh, you're doing a wonderful job, and you've just exploded in like two years. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mike. We've got a, a we got 122 agents who do a phenomenal wow. job. And um, you know, it's a true team effort and a great culture at Farm Bureau, Michigan. 11. Genoa now with the <coughs> ball on offense. Brunkhorst gets it out. In the flats to Alex Spencer. And Spencer, you know, that's somebody you'd like to see break one here tonight because he had the 48 yard run brought back on the right. hold. Well, they're utilizing this side, the, the right side of the, uh, the field. So, uh, you know, the second I say that, they're going to do something hardcore left right now. Watch. We'll see. They got trips to the left, twins to the right. Brunkhorst takes a snap. He's going to roll left, looking to run, and now he's going to take it. And oh. keep it himself. Great pump fake. And he's going to get up near the first down. Got and, it. in fact, he's going to get it out of bounds on the Fostoria sideline. Clock now inside four minutes. They marked him short. short. So it's going to be third and one. Looked like he got a yard past it. I thought it. he had it. I but, you know, it's a tough thing when you're opposite side. You don't know where he steps out. So, third down, and in fact, they, are they going to move it forward? Yeah, they're going to move the chain. So it is a first down. They're moving the chain in the middle of the play. Looks like he would have got it anyway as the handoff goes up the middle. <laughs> Interesting sequence there. <laughs> I've never seen a play go as they're moving the... Uh... They were just trying to keep us on our toes, Mike. Sure. Entry on the carry. Good for the first down. Trips right. Twins left. Genoa. Pass complete. Right side. Guess who? Aiden Entry almost broke free for his fifth before Fostoria was able to track him down. Taylor Automotive family will do the young sung hero a little bit later. <laughs> What do you say? Pastoria <laughs> on their heels. 3-12 to play. Clock ticking towards halftime. 41-8. Brunkhorst takes the snap. Looks right. Pump fake. Got a man down the sideline. And it's picked off oh. by Fostoria in the end zone. Wow. Great defensive play made there by Lance Miller. Brunkhorst was trying to throw it up to his buddy there, Denver Stewart. And Fostoria going to come away with a touchback as it goes into the end zone. Just a little bit short. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Great pump fake. Great throw. But even better interception. There you go. Like you said, talking about little things. And that there's your little thing right there that they're happy about. 
Yep, yep, continuing to not give up no matter what the scoreboard says. Who says DBs can't catch, right? <laughs> Fostoria now comes out. Miller, quick throw right side. Got a man wide wow. open over the middle. That place worked all night for him tonight. And it's going to be complete to Johnson. Genoa Jeweler, 611 Main Street in Genoa, has been serving the area with quality jewelry and gifts for over 19 years. Specializing in gold and silver repairs, Frank Comeyes has been a goldsmith for over 30 years. Our selection of Pulsar watches, precious moments figurines, reflections beads, seraphim classics, and quality stellar rings, all at a price you can afford. Genoa Jewelers also buys gold and silver and has the perfect gift for that someone special. Stop out today at Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa. Two and 50 to play until halftime. 41 8 comments all over Fostoria, but they're marching down the field. Miller takes a snap, looks left side, had a man, but threw it out of his reach. Intended receiver was Trenton Smith. Going to bring up second down and 10. 17 for 34 for 195. 17 for 34 for 215. Okay. Bastoria down big, but not giving up. They come out with trips to the left. One receiver to the right. Miller takes the snap. Comments don't bring any pressure. He's looking deep down the right sideline, and it's out of the reach of the intended receiver, Ferguson. Comments had nice coverage down there. Too much zip on that ball. Yeah, the coverage was really good by the Comets, and uh, they knew they're they're starting to know exactly what's everything's going to be a long pass. Yep, trying to get it all back on one play. Miller tonight, 185 yards through the air, 17 of 35. We'll look forward to getting some halftime update scores for you here at the break and. We'll get some updated stats as well. Third down and 10. Trips left. Single receiver to the right. Miller's got Genoa, keeping the football on the ground out of the injury timeout. And we do have a late flag here. We'll see what the call is. Temper starting to flare a little bit, Mike. You know, tough to be down 41-8. to eight. We'll see what the penalty is.
not only not only you're going to have problems with being a little ticked off here, there, and everywhere. It's just the cramps and everything that are going to start happening here tonight. Kind of a chilly night. Oh. Personal foul on us. This is going to be a personal foul on the Comets. Personal foul against the Comets. Didn't quite see what happened down there, but nonetheless going to back them up. One fifty-two to go till halftime. Beautiful night here in Genoa, at Genoa Bank Stadium. We've seen a little bit of everything tonight. We've seen a strip, a scoop, and a score. We've seen a block punt. We've seen a lot of air attack, and we've seen a lot of damage on the ground by Genoa. Bronkhorst takes the snap. Looking oh. deep. Got a man. Guess who? Boom. Aiden Entry. Number five on the night. An absolute strike. 52-yard bomb puts Genoa up. 47 to 8. What a play, Mike. <laughs> I mean, and he fired that ball. I mean, that ball, 35, 40 yards. Just that ball had some mustard and ketchup on it. Nice, nice, nice pass. Yeah, don't make me hungry. It's been a long first half. <laughs> Genoa looking to add on to the lead. And they do. Cameron Agler with the extra point. Aiden Antry. Fostoria hasn't had an answer for him all night. He's got five touchdowns so far. A lot of football to play. 48-8. 135 to play till halftime. This is the Toledo Sports Network's coverage of high school football. Agler to kick it away. He does. Fostoria going to let the ball go out of bounds with 135 to play until halftime. And we're going to get some flags flying near the Fostoria sideline. That's what we talked about a little bit earlier, Mike. <clears throat> now, if you're Fostoria and Joe, you both just want to get into halftime here. <coughs> Not just for the sake of your tape, <laughs> but for the fact that, you know, you, you want to make sure everyone keeps their cool down there. We'll see what the call is. We'll get some updates of some out-of-town scores coming at you here in just a little bit. <laughs> Genoa coming out on defense. We'll see what Fostoria can do before the half. Still waiting for the call. We know it was a personal foul. There's two flags down there in front of the Fostoria sideline. And it's going to be a personal foul against Fostoria. Both ways. And then a taunt against Fostoria. So they'll back them up. So Fostoria going to have a long field in front of them with a minute 35 to go till the half. They're backing them up near the 10. And that's where they're going to place the football. On the 10. Wow, that was a costly penalty. Can't have it. But a lot of that's the youth too, right? You know, you got to, you know, there's Discipline, a lot, a lot my of friend. lessons that are learned Discipline. out there. That's what's so great about high school football. You learn a lot of life lessons. So here we go. 48-8 as we approach halftime. Ball on the 10 after they sort out the penalties. Beautiful night here at Genoa Bank Stadium. Of course, home of the Comets in search of their third win on the season. Do you want to bet I'm going to take all of this out? Here we go now. Fostoria. Three receivers to the left. 
One to the right. They're going to sweep oh. it. And nothing doing there on the ground. It's been the story all night, Mike. Genoa defense ready for everything. Absolutely nothing on the on the ground. Nothing on the ground for Fostoria. They've tried and they've tried and they just cannot uh, find anywhere to get anywhere, even five yards. I think they've only had a couple of plays where they've gotten eight, maybe nine yards on a couple of plays. Lindenberger and Stewart down there on the defensive play. Clock rolling inside a minute until halftime. Bostoria backed up deep. Miller takes the snap, hands it off again, and going to be a gain of about two. I think we're only going to get one more run here, Mike, until we get to the half. Going to let that play clock go all the way down and get both these teams in at halftime. I can honestly say that's probably one of the longest first halves I've ever done. Hour and a half? Just hour and a half, yeah. A lot of action down there. A lot of points scored. 56 points on the board as we approach 10 seconds. This should be the final play of the first half. Miller takes it right side, guns it incomplete, and that will stop the clock. No! We're going to have to talk to CW. Thank you. Potentially get another another uh, <laughs> half hour, maybe maybe an hour. <laughs> no, I wish. I wish I could just give them the game, you know. Okay, the game's done. Here it is. No, nah, it don't work that great, way. Great partnership to have, though. and uh, They've been so good to me for almost 18 years. We've, we've been on... We've been on a lot of different stations, but Channel 13, WTVG has just done so well for us. And then we've, you know, really kind of upped our game here with our internet setup, and uh, we get a lot of people. We'll probably have a couple hundred people, 300 people will watch this game tonight, and we appreciate that, too. Well, yeah, it was one of the first things that I noticed when I was taking a look at the equipment coming back for my first broadcast in a year with you, and... It just it looks so good. You it's got a so great small. squad. It's so small. That's now. all you I need, like man. We don't have, we don't need a bunch of cords anymore, right? Well, it's not the cords. It's the heavy cameras that I got to lift. I'm old. I can't do that anymore. Time out. See, that's why I got here early today, though. I was going to help you carry all the stuff up here, and you already had it up. I was done, huh? That's that's me. I like to get in because I I've got ADD. I've got attention deficit. I have OCD. I've got them all. I was like, Mike is in peak physical condition. Is he that got that it? stuff up there in record time. <laughs> Didn't even need my help tonight. I actually started my lifting program yesterday, and I feel good. I feel strong today. Love it, man. Good for you. All right, this should be the final play of the first half, Astoria. Two receivers to the left, to the right. Miller guns it right side. It's complete to Ferguson, who gets up across the 25 and goes out of bounds as the time winds down here in the first half. Exciting first half of football. A lot of action. It's 48-8 here at halftime. Genoa all over Fastoria here on the Toledo Network's coverage of Ohio High School football. I'll let you listen to the uh, bands right now. And we have your quarter winners, Jenny Coghorn, Bob Messenger, Jenna Britt, Von Graffen, Crystal Hill. Um, oh, sorry. That's okay. Boom. There you go. <laughs> One of those, one of them nights tonight. <clears throat> one of the longest first halves. Yes, yes, it has been. It has been hour and a half. Oh, <laughs> that's unheard of in high school football. Yeah, which means I've got an hour and a half of editing to do tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Mike. Uh, of course, uh, Toledo Sports Network's coverage of Ohio high school football. Garrison Deal alongside Mike Jameson. Uh, we saw a lot of action there, Mike, in the first half, and take a look at some of the first half stats uh, so you take a look at Fostoria 
you know, if you take a look at the statistics and you look at the score, you might think, oh, well, we got a heck of a ball game. Well, 41 to 8 for a story that Gavin Miller has thrown for 225 yards in the first half, 18 to 38. Um, and then when you take a look at Genoa, Aiden Brunkhorst, 14 of 18, 197. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think the scores are so far apart, but it's it's been the rushing game that has been sure. the difference, Mike. Yeah, and what are the numbers, the rushing numbers? Oh, don't let me try to look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, so the rushing numbers tonight, uh, on the ground, uh, Genoa just dominating. 155 yards in the first half on the, on the ground. Fostoria, 13 total yards on the yeah. ground in the first half. That has been the major difference. Uh, Aiden Brunkhorst, one attempt, nine yards. Alex Spencer, three for 37. Aiden Antry, get this, he's got 100 yards on six carries, but pay attention to this in the second half, Mike. Six total touchdowns for Aiden Antry. The Genoa school record for touchdowns in a game, seven. Oh, wow. So it'll be interesting to see if they put him out there at all in the second half to potentially well, tie or get the new record. I, I can't see them not putting him out there because uh, he he is just – I hope that he can get the record tonight because uh, he has just played so incredible tonight and, and to make such good things happen throughout the whole game so far. And, you know, the defense is just uh, spot on. I mean, the defense scored – touchdowns early in the game and made a lot of good things happen and um, and Genoa's really came to play tonight. Aiden Entry on the receiving end of things, five receptions, 126 yards, and then Fostoria has a nice little stat line for one of their receivers. Micah Johnson has hauled in four receptions, been thrown to seven times, 101 yards oh. receiving. So as we start things off in the second half, Genoa's going to have the football first. Want to take a look around the league, see if there's any any scores update, any more of our Toledo Sports Network games. Well, we've got uh, we've got uh, uh, Rossford Otsego score right now, 28 to nothing Otsego on top of Rossford. Uh, we've we've been hearing some uh, scores from Eastwood over uh, Lake, 42-21. And Oak Harbor is beating Maumee tonight, 42-7. to No close games. No, no. Tonight seems to be a night of uh, blowouts. One of those nights for sure. Fostoria going to kick the football off to Genoa. Will be a running clock here in the second half, and they're going to start things off with the nine side. And that's going to go out of bounds, so flag will fly, and Genoa will start off with excellent field position here in the second half. Be interesting to see who they bring the offense out here with such a commanding lead, Mike. I'm looking now. <laughs> and it looks like we're going to have a new quarterback here in the second half for Genoa. That's going to be Brock Matthews, the sophomore quarterback, five foot nine, 149. Going to get some reps here tonight. This is the one they're all talking about, right? He's a really good good young man. We'll see what he's got. He's got three receivers to his left, two to his right to start things off. No running backs beside him. Fostoria showing four up front. Three linebackers deep. Matthews takes a snap. Direct pass out. He's a southpaw. Left-handed throw goes out near the general sideline. Late hit there. No flag. call. Pass was completed there to Logan Rutson. Rutson with a nice catch and run. But he did step out of bounds, so it'll be a gain of five. And that's the best way to get your young quarterback started and comfortable in the second half, isn't it, Mike? Get a nice quick pass completion, get the confidence going for the southpaw. Your, your best pass, whatever that is, whatever your best pass play is, when you're bringing a young kid in, sophomore, and you know, and uh, letting him do his thing, and it always, always works out well. It, you hope it works out good for him. Got an injury on the uh, field. As you know, it comes back out on offense. Clock rolling, 10.30. Again, we mentioned running clock here in the second half, 48 to 8. Genoa on top of Fostoria. Maybe now. 
Matthews hands it off to Rutson, right side, trying to get the corner. He does, and he's, he's gonna still get going to get. Oh, look at this! Nearly taken down, but he's showing some shuffle out there. They played the Cupid shuffle at halftime. He must listen. Uh -huh. There he goes across the sticks for the first down. Showing a little bit of quickness that out there. Ten, uh, that was Routson. One yep. of the Routson boys. Oh, yeah. Logan Routson. Uh -huh. Something about them Routson, I'll tell you. I mean, they, 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 they get the Missile Butt Award for me, you know? Yeah. That's my word, the Missile Butt, yeah. <laughs> you, well, you're not going to stop them, you know? First and 10. T formation. And we're going to have encroachment here, unless we had a little bit of early movement on the offense. I think it was movement. Yep, five yards. Yep, so back up Genoa. Oops. So going to be first and 15. Next week will be uh, Genoa will be taking on Lake at Lake. We'll be there. And I'm pretty sure Rossford will be at home. I'll have that game for you, too. And, uh, uh oh. Matthews right. takes Look the snap. This. Got a man wide open down along the left sideline inside the 10. Adam Knight hauls it in, and Genoa not skipping a beat from the first half. Coming out here, running clock or not, they're keeping it going. Well, you saw it, and it was just a beautiful play, crossing crossing pattern, and uh, worked out <laughs> real nice for a nice 25-yard gain. Matthews with a nice ball out there, the sophomore. He's got a T formation behind him now. They're going to hand it off. This is Luke Clement. Ball's on the ground, and it is going to be recovered. By Genoa. Gain of two. Inside eight minutes to play, third quarter. 48 8. Genoa. 40 point lead and looking for more. They come out with two receivers to the right, three to the left. Fostoria not showing any pressure. Matthews, seven yards deep, takes a snap, turns left side, <coughs> fires. And over Logan Routson. That'll bring up third and long. Third down and nine on the 11. Matthews comes over the sideline, gets the call from head coach Bill Fisher. Coach Fisher has to be happy with the play of his team as of late. The comeback win last week and tonight just total domination on both sides of the Amen. football and yeah. on the ground in all aspects. Matthews, man in motion, left side. Takes the snap, high snap, corrals it, looking deep. Now he's going to take little a shovel punch. pass inside the 10. Little Patrick uh -oh, Mahomes disc. Oh, we and we're going to get a fumble recovery there, but you got to love it, man. <laughs> shovel pass. Looks like John Stockton out there. Oh, yeah. He's got. Two halfbacks behind him. Fourth down and six. It's going to be sweep left side. Fostoria all over it, though. And that's going to be a turnover on downs. Nice job by the Fostoria defense to hold strong. So Fostoria, Mike, will take over. And we'll see what they can do here. Yeah. Now, if you're Foss, if you're Fostoria, Mike, what what do you want to get here in the second half? You want to do exactly what you were doing before, and um, those out routes. Keep doing it. Get that running game, maybe a little bit of confidence too, and that's how they start things off on the ground here. Miller hands it off up the middle. 20, 55, 25, or 24. Lance Miller, the ball carrier. Lance Miller on the carry. Brings up second down and eight after the gain of two. Man, you couldn't ask for a more beautiful night for football, oh my could goodness. you? Yeah. 63 degrees, clear skies. 
here at Genoa Bank Stadium. Second down and eight. Miller, pump fake. Now he's going to take off himself up the middle. Going to get up near the sticks. We'll see where they mark him. And they are going to give him the first down. So Fostoria moves the sticks for the first time here in the second half. Clock keeps running no matter what. Yep, tick, tick, tick. Running clock in Ohio High School football whenever it's 30 points or more. It's 48-8. And after our two-and-a-half-hour first half, this is going to work out good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Miller, three receivers to the left and one to the right. Here comes the blitz from Genoa. He's going to take off right side. He's got a receiver, Ferguson, along the Genoa sideline, complete for a short gain. We'll be at my, my best friend in the whole wide world, Jeff Marin's house tomorrow to do our radio show, the sports show that sucks from 8 to 10 on ESPN. And uh, Garrison, you, well, you've been on our show, but you had your own show. And, uh, boy, I'd love for you to get that back. You, you did a wonderful job with that. And, uh, Thank you, Mike. You, you, pre you prepare quite well. See, we're just a bunch of idiots. You really know what you're talking about. No, you guys, you guys are super no, entertaining. We're, and you're we're idiots. Time. We're idiots. <laughs> we're idiots. Don't you call me anything but an idiot. No, but I, we have fun. I, I, love, I love it. I'll be tuning in tomorrow morning. Uh, Levi and I, Levi, and my son, we listen uh, Saturday mornings. I'll be joining my wife in Lansing tomorrow. We gotta go. We have a wedding uh -oh. uh, that we're going to. She's there tonight. She's in the wedding, so I'm on dad duty tonight. Gotcha. Um, I'm 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 um, brainwashing him. Full Notre Dame, full Detroit Lions. He's already saying go Lions, go Irish. You're the whole thing, You're man. Sad. You're sad. Yeah. <laughs> that kid's got such a lucky life ahead of him. Oh, thanks, man. I'm the lucky one. So we got three receivers to the left, two to the right for Foster Miller. He's got pressure. He gets away, and he's looking for Ferguson along the right sideline, out of the reach. Huh. Going to bring up fourth down, but it's just prevent. I mean, they got you know they're just kind of laying back, yeah. so. They, they now know that, you know, that little 25, 30-yard pass play could hurt them. And they're laying back now. There's that guy. They're bringing, the, they're bringing that linebacker back. So safety's staying back, too, now. So Fostoria looking for a first down here, their first of the second half. Clock is running. It's 2 and 30 to go in the third quarter. Fourth down and four. Ball on the 26. Miller, two to the right, three to the left. He's got time here. Yeah, a little bit. Moving around. Now he's going to take off himself. And he's going to be well shy of the first down as he runs out across the Genoa. No, he got it. Oh, did they give him the stretch? He got it. Oh, there we go. First down. Good. I was going to say, it looked like he stepped yeah. out early, but he stretched out. So that'll be a first down for the Redmen. It wasn't up yardage for Redmen. First down. Huh? That's great, great for both sides here, Mike. Because oh, yeah. you get, you know, you, you get a lot of your young players in there, get them their experience. But Fostoria, as we mentioned earlier, them being so young, they're still getting the experience as well out here. So, first and ten, three receivers to the left, one to the right, half back besides Miller. Oh, takes this snap and throws it out left side, intended for the receiver twenty-three. It's been one of his favorite targets tonight, Braden Harrison. It's going to bring up second down and 10. Ball on the 32. As we approach a minute to play here in the third quarter. And what we saw in the first half was a ton of fireworks, both offensively and defensively. Uh, total offense in the first half, over 600 yards combined. Wow. 225 yards for Fostoria through the air. 13 on the ground and Genoa just dominating through the air and on the ground as we're going to get a timeout here on the field. It'll be second down to 10. Ball in the 32 for Fostoria when we come back. All right, we'll just stay here. I like we'll be cutting this out probably. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Teaching you all about editing yeah. and production right now. I like it. <laughs> no, that's the worst part of this job. <laughs> Well, you know, it's funny, Mike. So I don't know if I ever told you this, but 
when I worked for WZZM in, in Grand Rapids, every Friday night I would go out and shoot two games, and I would come back because I would present them on the air. But I edited them, and I had like 45 minutes to get both oh. games in. It was, dude, I loved oh. it though. It was so fun because you, it, it was a thrill, right? You, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, Am I gonna Anxiety, get this in time? Exactly. And I gotta oh. write the script, and yeah. and it was fun. I even talked to like Arnold. I swear, one time Arnold? I'll have to show it to you, Arnold. Yeah. Out of the time out, Fostoria. We have movement. Somebody jumped. Yeah, the the Gitti di Chapa. You ever heard that one on mm -hmm. the? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see what the what the indication is here. Obviously, going to be movement, and it appears it's going to be on the defense. So, second down and ten. Correction. Now second down and five. Fostoria, two receivers to the left, one to the right. Miller takes the snap. Looking deep. Oh, got a man. Got oh, and he, he falls to the ground. It looks, like it's getting a little, it looks like it's getting a little slick out there. We see a lot of these receivers going down before the ball gets there. Miller's pass intended for Braden Harrison. Going to bring up third down and five as time runs out in the third quarter. Let's head to the fourth. It's 48 to eight. Now that was one of the quickest third quarters in history. There you go. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genoa Bank, a locally owned community bank providing a full range of banking services. At Genoa Bank, we believe a bank should do more than just conduct business. We generally care about the communities we serve and we take our hometown commitment to heart. Our biggest investment will always be in you, whether it's a personal account or business. Genoa Bank is committed to outstanding service. We want to know you by name and help you with all your banking needs. Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. 35, Oh, here we go. We're ready to start the fourth quarter here once they hit that button and start the clock. 48 to 8, Genoa. All over Fostoria. Lots of weird penalties. It has been an interesting ball game. One of the quickest third quarters ever. <laughs> the longest first half, 43 minutes. Uh-oh, ball's tipped. Well, it was a 43-minute first quarter. <laughs> it was an hour and a half first half. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot here, the, though, tonight. Garrison Deal alongside Mike Jamison uh, here on the Toledo Sports Network. Uh, Genoa, though, coming out and picking up right where they left off last week, Mike. Oh, definitely. Definitely. And as we take a look at um, this conference and, and, you know, the competitiveness and, and how things are going to heat up here in the weeks to come as we go into weeks five and six, you know, what do you expect to see, Mike, moving forward for this Genoa team? Well, it, it's all going to depend on – oh, nice catch. Yeah, nice Miller's catch. pass complete over the middle to number seven, Trenton Smith. Nice gotta be over pass and catch. Yards, right? it he's a, to. He's approaching. He was at 225 at halftime. Okay. All right. Nice, nice, nice spiral on that ball when he throws it. Now, as we take a look, a look ahead, too, Mike, where, where will we be next week? Uh, next week, Genoa's going to be at Lake. And then uh, Rossford, uh, I, I'm sorry, I just don't have it with me right now. You just had to go to the website. No, that's okay. That's what I was going to yeah. say. I was going to say if you check on the Toledo Sports Network website, you'll be able to see all the games coming up yep, ahead. Yep, yep, yep. As. Miller goes right back to Smith. So they're forming a little connection here as well. And it's, it's one of the, the best things about what you're doing here with the Toledo Sports Network, Mike, is you give people the opportunity to, to watch live on www.toledosportsnetwork.com, of course. Free. Free. <laughs> free. I'm the only one that does it for Nothing free. Nothing is free these days. I know. I know. That's and why that, I've got my good sponsors. God that, love them. And that is, you, you, your heart's in it for the right reasons. It's, it's all about heart because we certainly, you know, I would, I'd love to be sitting, you know, relaxing on the old boat. And tonight would have been a beautiful night, but I would much rather be here. Well, you're doing, you're doing a great thing. Uh -oh. as Could be. We have a pass complete right side down inside the five. 
Miller found one of his favorite targets tonight, Braden Harrison. See, they're still running all their first teams. All first team stuff for the Redmen right now. And Comets have got their second second team in. Yep. And that was Ferguson on that reception, not Harrison. And we do have a Redmen down on the right side. It looks like it could be a cramp. But uh, we do have an injury timeout here. 48-8, Genoa. Fastoria on the move, though, here on the Toledo Sports Network. Bobby, you ready for a Pepsi? <laughs> I got one, thank you. Anybody else? Yeah. I'm getting Don't take me, Kate. Are they busting out the chicken beans? Yes. yes. All right. Are they, uh, see, you can't do, you, you can't do uh, insurance in Ohio, right? You're in Michigan. <clears throat> yeah, so great question, Mike. So, um, I am uh, now with uh, Farm Bureau Insurance of Michigan. So now we can do insurance down here in Ohio, though, because we have over 50 other carriers. We offer Progressive and, and all kinds of oh, other well, carriers. So that, that's a nice thing. If you have any friends in, in the Ohio area, we have tons of great agents in Michigan looking to help. Uh, as Miller hands the football off here, up the middle to 22, that's Matthew Balarama Jr. But... Uh, yeah, just so happy um, to have such a great team surrounding me. You've uh, built up quite a name for yourself in the past few years, and, uh, and insurance is your is your baby now. You know? Well, thank you, thank you, Mike. Yeah, it's it's uh, just really protecting people and and um, doing what's right for them. We've all had claims and crazy things happen to us, so uh, it's nice to be able to help. As Miller loses the football yeah. here momentarily, corrals it himself. And he's going to get hit and go down. I think he was going to throw it, and then the ball yeah. just literally just fell out of his hand. Nearly uh, nearly lost it. But this is going to bring up third down now as we approach eight minutes to play here in the third. Now, if you're Fostoria, Mike, you know, if you can punch one in here and maybe get another for the end of the game, get that confidence going. Get, sure. get a good feeling. It's always... I always said when I when I was a player and a coach, you know, it's not about how you start the game; it's about how you finish the game, and, that, and that's both as uh, if you're up big or if you're down big. It's right. all about how you finish because exactly. that's going to carry the momentum into the following week. Amen. Oh, there you go. Some good words to when you go out and uh oh, dropped it again. Miller fumbles the snap. Now he's got a man wide open though, and it's tipped and caught. Touchdown, Fustoria. To number 23, Braden Harrison. Braden Harrison. Clock still runs then, right? Yeah, Braden Harrison having a heck of a ball game receiving as he hauls that one in off the tip drill. 48-14. Fostoria most likely going to go for two here. They come out of the huddle, and, of course, the clock will continue to run. Huh. That was tipped by uh, Genoa. Three, yeah, three receivers to the left, to the right. Miller looking to oh. keep it going here. and I mean, there's no other way to live. Uh, uh, Fostoria here going to set up for the onside kick, of course. And they do boot it away. It looked like he was going to onside it. It did look like it. And we have a return by Genoa here. Up near the 33-yard line. Knight on the return. And with a running clock, 6.35 to go in the ballgame. It's 48-14. Genoa going to send back out the sophomore quarterback, Brock Matthews. Putting, putting together a nice, a nice little stat line for him the second half. Not, not getting on the board as much as they want to, but... You know, getting the experience, getting the throws, getting a feel for the game out there. There you go. Matthews leads the offense out. He's got two backs behind him. It's going to be a sweet play. This is 24, right side. Ryan Routson down the right sideline, keeps going, and he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 45. It is enough yardage for a comment. First down. Total offense tonight for Genoa. Can't wait to see that stat line. Number 20, Manuel, Jimenez, Reza. 
First down and 10, ball at the 44. Genoa gonna keep the pedal down and keep running here. Two backs behind Matthews. Takes a snap, same play, opposite side. This time it's the 21, that's Hunter Teat. He's gonna take it left side and we got a flag that flies near the end of the play. Hunter Teat, the ball carrier, there's a flag on the play. Looks like it's gonna be coming back on Genoa. As we hit five minutes playing the ball game. 48-14. Genoa came out tonight up 20 to nothing. Then Fostoria struck through the air and added the two point conversion. It was 20 to eight. But then Genoa didn't look back no. the second half. Picking up right where they left off. They were up 41 to eight at halftime. Matthews takes the snap, throws it right side. It's complete to 21. Hunter Teat, he Whoa. just did it on the ground. Now he's doing it through the air. Stays in bounds down the right sideline. Teat gonna take it to the house, but he stepped out. The fans, the bench, the team wanted that one, but they're gonna say that he stepped out of bounds at around the 30. And they are gonna spot it at the 29. Four minutes to go in the ball game. First and 10, ball on the 29 for Genoa. Matthews, two backs behind him. Takes a snap, sweet play, it's gonna go right side. This one to 36. Alex Materni on the carry. Materni, a freshman. Just nice seeing some of these young kids getting in there and having some, being able to move the ball a little bit. It, it really builds their confidence up, Ab no doubt. Absolutely, Mike. And as we wind down here, just want to thank you again so much for bringing me back and having a great time with you tonight. Anytime, brother. Looking forward to many more games here uh, moving forward. You do a wonderful job. Make my job easy. It is a team effort, my friend. Thank you, though, as we have Matthews pass incomplete over the right side. You know, they always say a play-by-play -play guy is only as good, or a play-by-play -play gal is only as good as the commentator beside them. So if I'm good, it's because you're good. <laughs> I just push the buttons. I'm a button pusher tonight. So. Oh. I want to give Kurt Tallman some, some credit, too, on the camera tonight. Doing a phenomenal job. Great working with Kurt for the first time tonight as Genoa takes the handoff up the middle. 4 6. Alex Materni. 15 yard gallop and score makes it 54 14 as the clock is winding. Still running. <laughs> That'll bring in. Agler to attempt his eighth extra point on the night. Yeah, yeah. I can do math. <laughs> good snap. Hey. Good hold. Kick is up. Kick is good. I want to give some credit to the long snapper tonight, who is Brock Matthews. There you go. The sophomore quarterback and, of course, the holder, Alex Spencer. Been a uh, a great trio tonight. Only had one mix, one missed extra point earlier in the game, so seven of eight. The score now 55-14. Astoria going to get one more chance on offense. We, you know, we have to do our uh, our uh, Taylor Automotive family uh, uns unsung hero of the game. What are you thinking there, boss? Oh man, I mean, you got to take a look at at, at the stat lines tonight. And and uh, <laughs> Aiden Antry, yeah. I mean, my gosh, three touchdowns on the ground, three touchdowns through the air. Uh, 
he's one shy of the school record right. for touchdowns in a game at Genoa. The school record for touchdowns in a single game at Genoa is seven. And uh, he had six in the first half. Wow. wow. Pretty, pretty special tonight. As Fostoria brings the ball upfield. And they're going to go down around the 20. That's where they're going to start this final drive of the game as we hit a minute 24 to play. And we get an official timeout. And they're going to place the football at around the 21. So not too many close games in the conference tonight, Mike, as we took a look no. around the league earlier. Yeah. but. Um, Going to be fun to watch this Genoa team the rest of the way. Going to be fun to see this young Fostoria team continue to grow and continue to make strides towards the future. But, you know, right now Genoa, 3-1 and one, uh, going into next week, and uh, they're clicking on all cylinders right now. Right now the passing game is there. The running game is definitely there too. And as long as people can stay healthy, that's the main thing is making sure everybody stays healthy. Uh, they'll go into Lake next week, and uh, we'll have the game for you too. Looking forward to it, man. Fostoria comes out. 28 seconds to go. This will, in all certainty, be the last play of the game. And we do have a delay of game. A little bit of confusion there, and that will keep the, the clock rolling anyway. So huh. tonight's final from Genoa going to be 55 to 14, Mike. And... You know, as we said, this Genoa team, they're dangerous, and they're going to be something to reckon with here in the conference. Well, we saw we saw passing, a lot of passing tonight on, on both both ends of the court here, and I, I think, like you said about Fostoria, they're a growing team, and they're young, and they've got a lot of things that they have to do. But uh, Genoa set a precedence tonight and said, hey, listen, we can throw the ball and we can run the ball and we can play defense and we played hardcore defense and we didn't let anything come up the gut if you wanted to do things with us it involved running slants and Fostoria was able to get some nice slants and get some of their guys open to make some things happen so it's a good learning experience for the young uh, Fostoria Redmen but uh, Genoa came out here and showed them who they were who was boss tonight they sure did Coach Fisher and his Genoa Comets improved to three and one on the season. Fostoria falls to one and three. You know, tonight been a great night for football. Beautiful skies, beautiful weather, and we look forward to doing this a lot more with you the rest of the season. You know, for Kurt Tallman, our cameraman tonight, who did a phenomenal job. Always does. Great guy. A great job. And, and Mike Jamison for bringing me back tonight and uh, for doing everything that he does for the community. And, uh, free streaming. You don't <laughs> see that in Michigan. I'm telling you that right no, now. All that, right. Uh, so thank you, Mike, for everything you do. But uh, for Kurt Tallman, for Mike, for Mike Jamison, I'm Garrison Deal saying so long from Genoa Bank Stadium. Again, the final score tonight, Genoa 55 Fostoria 14. Thanks for tuning in to the Toledo Sports Network's coverage of Ohio high school football. <laughs>